Swiftpaw is a black and white tom with pale amber eyes. He was born to Goldenflower and given the name Swiftkit, and at six moons he was apprenticed. He was shy and anxious during the ceremony, but his new mentor Longtail reassured him that he was doing fine. Longtail was a good mentor to him, and they grew close. Somewhere along the line, Swiftpaw picked up some of his mentor's snarky attitude. Some of Swiftpaw's actions inadvertently led to his clan's camp being attacked shortly into his apprenticeship. ThunderClan was holding the blinded, exiled ShadowClan leader Brokenstar prisoner, and Bluestar ordered her clan not to reveal this information to the other clans. Swiftpaw, however, let this information slip to some other apprentices at a gathering, and it was overheard by ShadowClan warriors. Bluestar refused to kill Brokenstar when Nightstar confronted her about it, and ShadowClan and WindClan attacked the ThunderClan camp, intending to do it themselves. Swiftpaw became an older half-brother when his mother Goldenflower gave birth to two more kits, Bramble Kit and Tawny Kit. After several moons of training, Swiftpaw had become nearly as big as his mentor, and as the oldest apprentice, he expected to be made a warrior soon. Fireheart believed that he, Brightpaw, and Thornpaw were ready, and told them so, but in Blue Star's turbulent mental state, she didn't trust any apprentices except Fireheart's. Fireheart tried to show Swiftpaw and the other two that they were still valued by the clan by spending time with each of them and including them in frequent patrols, but Swiftpaw resented the delay. One day, Blue Star decided that she wanted to lead a patrol herself. Fireheart thought this would be a good opportunity for Swiftpaw to prove himself and brought him along, but things didn't go according to plan. They came upon RiverClan trying to claim Sunning Rocks. As Swiftpaw was the fastest cat among them, Fireheart ordered him to go back to camp and fetch reinforcements. Swiftpaw wasn't happy about it. He wanted to fight, but he obeyed, first finding a nearby hunting patrol and then continuing on to the camp. Fireheart hoped that this would be the right moment for Swiftpaw to be made a warrior, but Bluestar still insisted that she couldn't trust him and decided to only promote Fireheart's apprentice, Cloudpaw. Swiftpaw was furious, and at the ceremony when he should have called Cloudtail's new name, he instead turned his back on his former denmate and didn't come up to congratulate him afterward. That night, as Cloudtail sat vigil, Swiftpaw gathered all the other apprentices in their den and told them that they'd only be able to become warriors if they did something so brave that Blue Star couldn't go on ignoring them anymore. He said that they should try to find out what had been killing all the prey in the forest and figured that they should start at Snake Rocks. Only Brightpaw decided to go with him, and they snuck out of camp. When they reached Snake Rocks, Swiftpaw was attacked by a dog, and then a whole pack of them surrounded the apprentices. They fought desperately to defend themselves, but there was no hope. Swiftpaw was killed, and Brightpaw nearly was, too. She would always remember that in Swiftpaw's final moments, he fought like all of Lion Clan. Swiftpaw went to Star Clan. When Fireheart became ThunderClan's leader, Swiftpaw was one of the cats who gave him his nine lives. Swiftpaw was the sixth cat, and gave him life with the gift of mentoring. Firestar honored Swiftpaw during Thornclaw's warrior ceremony, saying that he should have been there too, and that ThunderClan would always remember how he died trying to protect his clan from a threat. And this was true. Seasons later, his story was still told to younger generations. When Firestar finally lost his final life, Swiftpaw and the other cats who had given him his lives appeared in the living world, and together they led his spirit to StarClan. Swiftpaw would have been a great warrior of ThunderClan, but sadly felt that he had no choice but to prove himself. But his spirit would live on through the memories of Firestar, Brightheart, Longtail, and all of the other cats who remembered him. <laughs>